Hey everyone, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jamie, I'm a medical student based in the UK and in this video, I'm gonna share with you my productivity desk setup. As always, here are the timestamps for everything in this video, so feel free to jump to any specific part you want and let's get started. So let's start off with the desk, or I should say desks. You see, I like having more width than length and so I am using a double desk setup. That way I can spread things out but have them all within arm's reach. This desk is the Linmin from IKEA. I bought it for £25, so cheap, proper bargain and proper nice as well. And I've been using it for more than two years now. The other desk is just a standard wooden desk that came with my room and my student accommodation. I do sometimes wish that they could go up and down like those fancy YouTuber standing setups. But that'll do for now until I move out to another place later this year. This setup is driven by the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018 edition. Rocking the old 6 core Intel Core i7 chip, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 4 gigabyte graphics card. I don't really use it for anything too heavy, mainly editing videos on Final Cut Pro like this one and some Photoshop here and there. But I'm definitely going to upgrade to the M1 Mac Mini or maybe I'll wait for the M2 chip MacBooks whenever these come out. The MacBook rests in clamshell mode most of the time, but I can easily and quickly unplug it if I want to take it with me to lectures or if I just want to use it in bed. Attached to the bottom of the MacBook is the Moft Invisible Stand. This allows me to prop the laptop at two different heights without carrying any extra stand with me. The monitor I'm using is the Samsung 32 inch 4K monitor, plugged into the MacBook via an HDMI cable. I got this for £280 about a year ago, and I quite like it. It's 4K and the 32 inch size comes in very handy for when I have to work with multiple windows at once. Also having the curved display just feels more immersive than the flat ones. And if I ever need extra screen real estate, I use the MacBook Pro as a second monitor, or sometimes I'll also connect my iPad Pro via sidecar. Moving on to the main peripherals, I'm using the Logitech MX Master 1 mouse. I got this for £38 on Black Friday, and honestly it is one of the best mice I've ever used. It's got a side scrolling wheel for horizontal scrolling, but I use that for zooming in and out instead. What I like most about it is the gesture button. You can assign actions to each gesture to quickly access apps and folders. As for the keyboard, I'm using the black Apple Magic keyboard with the number pad. This will set you back £150, but it was worth the money for me. I know a lot of people are crazy about mechanical keyboards these days, but honestly, I still prefer the minimal look of the Magic keyboard. I may get a mechanical keyboard one day, but not today. And for speakers, I'm using the Logitech Z333, which I got two years ago for like £30 off Amazon. And I never felt like I needed to upgrade them, as they look and sound pretty good. Here are some of the other stuff I have lying around the desk. This very handy kitchen timer. I love this so much. I got a few people asking me, why don't I just use the timer on my phone or use the timer app on the Mac? But honestly, having a physical timer sitting right in front of you just feels a lot better. I have two settings on it, one hour and the second one is the 25 minutes for when I do my Pomodoro sessions. I got a few index cards to time block my day or write a quick to-do list when I don't feel like using my to-do app. And a few small flashcards to keep track of quick short-term actions. And it feels good to scrunch them and play paper basketball with them. I got three pens of different colors by Mitsubishi. They look and write beautifully, and I got a Sharpie on the side too. These AirPods are quite literally some of the best purchases I've ever made. If I had to make a list of my top five items ever, these would easily be my top three. This notepad right here, I call the focus pad. I use it to time block my day for when I don't feel like time blocking on calendar. Sometimes I feel it's more effective to use a pen and paper rather than an app. And I got some fake plants around the desk too, because I heard that that increases your productivity, or something along those lines. 
Also, they are fake because if I can barely take care of myself, how do you expect me to take care of a plant? For the chair, I use this office chair by Habada. I'm gonna be honest with you. Although it looks good, it's actually not that comfortable. I'm looking to upgrade to one of those ergonomic, cool looking chairs sometime soon. But this one, I wouldn't recommend. I got it for 80 pounds off Amazon, but if you're in the market for a comfortable chair, then I'd look somewhere else. And that's it, that is my current setup. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And check out my other videos. And see ya.